In an effort to mitigate the effects of climate change on agricultural production, Kenya is among three other countries implementing a climate smart water management and sustainable development for food and agriculture project dubbed WATDEV. The project seeks to address the challenges of limited availability of water resources and climatic conditions which have severely compromised agricultural production and food security. The other countries, which include Egypt, Sudan and Ethiopia, will seek to address the limited institutional and individual capacity of water and natural resources management. In Kenya, the project targets Bura and Hola irrigation schemes along the Lower Tana River. Speaking in Kilifi County during a consultative meeting with various partners involved in the project, the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization's Director General Dr. Eliud Kiregel said that there are several challenges affecting agricultural production which include minimal utilization of flood waters in the said irrigation schemes. The main challenges in the Lower Tana include fluctuation of water in the Tana River, causing meandering and damage to cultivated fields close to the riverbanks, water scarcity during dry seasons, uh, wet season flooding, with the flood water usually not utilized optimally for beneficial purposes, encroachment of land by invasive species like the Proxopis, salinity of groundwater with salinity increasing with distance from the river streams, limited groundwater storage, and deterioration of water quality as a result of intrusion. The project will collect, analyze, and implement best management practices and innovations of water resources and replicate them in the local project sites. Before we can be able to revive our irrigation schemes, especially in Tana, Hola, we need to be able to manage the soils and the water in those areas. Because as I said earlier on, the challenges is a lot of uh, erosion, a lot of salinity, poor management practices of the soils. So we are discussing, we are having this meeting to discuss with farmers solutions that can be able to assist them to manage the soils so that they can be able to increase their productivity as we move towards irrigated agriculture. Dr. Michael Okoti, a senior researcher at Calro, added that most farmers are ill-advised on best soil management techniques, which further affects agricultural production negatively. One of the challenges we have seen in this area is that most farmers are not keen on the fertilizer re regime or soil nutrient status of their farms. Uh, one, few farmers use fertilizers. And number two, they hardly use manures. And number three, some of them say there's no need to use uh, fertilizer on the farms because they practice recession, recession irrigation, uh, recession planting, where they plant their crops on fields that have been flooded before, and their liberal deposits act or provide uh, fertility to their soils, which is okay, but has some limitation itself. The farmers who don't use manure uh, indicate that um, because of the prosopy seeds in the manure being taken off by livestock, they, they, they see a lot of uh, sprouting of the prosopis in the, in, the, in the fields and it becomes an extra cost for them when it comes to you know, weeding their fields and everything. So they avoid manure completely. So it is a good, uh, it is a good source of, uh, of nutrients to their soils. Those who don't use fertilizer, the biggest complaint is the cost of the fertilizer. So we we'll want to work around that to see how we can help the farmers to maintain their soil fertility or soil nutrition status of their farm. One of the first things they must do is do soil analysis or soil testing to know what the soils have, what the soils are lacking. Then you can give good recommendation, tell them this is what you need to buy or this is what you need to add to your soils to increase or to maintain your soil fertility. The project is being funded by the European Union for a period of five years. For KTN Farmers TV, I'm Paul Thiongong.